Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make the coolest terminal UI applications using C Sharp and .NET in a very intuitive way and you're going to end up with something like this, which is animated, you can click, tab, enter, you can do all sorts of things. It looks really modern, it looks really cool, let's see how we can do it. So what I have here is a, is a simple application, it has a, just a program.cs, nothing really special. Now. How do we do something like this, right? Normally, if you wanted to make a console app, you have to have like a Spectre console or Cocona or some other sort of library that you need to bring in. And then there's a lot of manual typing you have to do to make nice things like updating UI, cleaners and stuff like that. It, this is all basically gone. Now you can go and install Razor Core. I'm going to use a pre-release version. This is brand new. I'm going to put a link in the description. I highly recommend you give it a star on GitHub. I love the idea of that project. It's something I want to use more and more. So give it as much love as you can. It can really help the visibility of the package and of course for the development. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. And the model is really, really simple. All you do is, let's say I want to make a counter. All you need to do is say counter.razor. So you have razor files with the razor syntax and then code. And then you have the state management of like Razor Pages or Blazor in a console application that renders as a console application. It's awesome. Now, for all of this to come together, it would be also necessary to add the Razor SDK. So I would do something like this here. But once you do that, then you can go to the counter and you can build this as a Razor component. The way this would work is you would have sort of like a, a columns approach over here, columns component, which you can go ahead and add that namespace. And now this works to make columns. Then you can add a P as if it is a web element, you know, a paragraph. It says current count. And then let's say you want to add a markup. So this markup can have a foreground color. We can use Spectre here as well, which seems to be a dependency. So you can say Spectre console green, and then you can have your state. So what is the content of this? Well, you can go down here and say that you have code again, very razory, very blazery, very, very, very nice. You can say private int current count equals zero. So just like you normally do, you can go then here and say current count dot to string to render it. And even if I just let it like this, I could just go and say app host dot run async and I can say counter and this would be the counter component over here. And if I do that, I'm just going to say dot net run. And now as you can see, I have a current count zero. Now, of course, I need to increment the current count. So I can go here and just make a button. How? Well, let's make the method that this button would call. So this is a public void increment count. So it would take that count and increase it and then just say current count plus plus. And then we would add a button. So out here, I would say text button. The content is click me. And then this is the method name. So on click, call this method, have a gray background and then the focus color is blue. So if I have that and I now say dot net run, what's what happens? Click me count zero up here and then It's so cool. I oh, I love this so much. This is so awesome. Of course, you can have other things. This is just a very basic example. It, it's sort of like you're getting started. I want to show you a few very cool things. Before I do that, I'm not going to say much. All I'm going to say is if you go to the domtrain.com link in the description where me and 30 other people publish courses, you will find a nice surprise. And that's all I'm going to say for that. So if I go here and I say I don't want a counter. Instead, I want to have this dashboard, which is something I made outside of this video just to show you a more elaborate example you might have seen at the beginning. Then if I cancel this and I go here and I say don't know run, you need a really cool sort of systems dashboard that's just updating in, re in real time. Of course, it's fake data, but you can feed real data into this. So if you want to see like CPU usage, memory, disk IO, you know, if, is your web server running, database cache, if you want to make a dashboard for anything or your machine, the temperature, the, like whatever. And then I can press tab and you can see here, I can move around. I can see where I moved because it becomes gray. I can select to see different things. So different connections, you know, my SQL database, my Redis, I have network traffic over here, packet sent performance, all of this in real time is just so, so cool. If you want, by the way, this code to see how I'm 
doing all of this, I'm going to put it in the description. You can use that link to get the code. But I want to show you another one as well, because this can go like quite far. I was always fan of the idea of like having a console based database manager for small things, especially SQL light things. So if I go here and I say .NET run, then you have just that. You have sort of your, your databases, inventory database, user. You can refresh, you can create a database, you can see the largest and most um, tables database. So if I went over here to the users, you can see I have two tables, users and roles. I can go here and I can say, which one do I want to see, users or roles? I'm going to say users. And then you see your entries. So I can go here and say, oh, this object. Oh, how about I, I go to the previous record? How about I go to the next record? How about I go back to records and so on? I can say insert and I can add more. And as you can see, I'm adding more, showing one of 10. You have pagination, you can say delete last and so on. It is just so cool. And all that is done with Razor, which is so, so awesome. You can do tons of things. I like the approach. I really want to see how this can be optimized even further in a programming model that's a bit more sophisticated. But from everything I've seen until now, this is a brilliant idea. You see this more and more with are the terminal UIs, uh, you know, K9 and so on for Kubernetes. So I'm glad we have something and I want to see this adopted more. Again, don't forget to give it a start on GitHub. It really, really matters. But now I want from you. What do you think about this? And have you seen anything like this in .NET before? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.